Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. A cavalcade of open top, sun in the face, wind in the hair, dream machines come true. All for you on a special ragtop review coming up next on Motor Week. Motor Week, television's automotive magazine, is brought to you by the Robert Bosch Corporation, makers of Bosch Super Spark Plugs and other automotive products for American, European, and Japanese vehicles. And by Prestone Antifreeze and Coolant. America goes with Prestone. Your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello, and welcome again to Motor Week this time to a very special edition. As you can see, the weather's fine. It's just right to start a new love affair with an old friend, the convertible. You know, convertibles were almost extinct for a while there, thanks to automobile air conditioning. Well, now they're staging a comeback. In fact, what were once regarded only as frivolous machines are now gaining new respectability and status. We've got tons of status for you this week, over 27 tons, in fact since we've gathered together a total of 18 brand new convertible models, nine domestics and nine imports. Besides that, Pat Goss will relate some wisdom on the careful care of convertible tops and will strip away the cover on how modern convertibles are born. So let's get a start on our tans with the U.S. made convertibles most responsible for this ragtop revival. It was the spring of 1982 when the Chrysler Corporation, fresh from disaster, began the current resurgence of convertibles with a topless front-wheel drive Chrysler Libera. Even now, the $12,052 base price is still quite reasonable, although it's the $16,194 Mark Cross edition that exudes Chrysler's luxury. Along with the superb Mark Cross leather trim, most other normally ordered options, such as air conditioning for muggy days, are standard. An overdone town and country variant with wood-toned sides is also offered. Power comes from fuel-injected and turbo versions of Chrysler's 32.2 liter 4 or Mitsubishi's 2.6 liter 4. Pluses on the LeBaron convertible include good rear seat and trunk space, Chrysler's five-year or 50,000-mile limited powertrain warranty, and minimal rough pavement body flex. Negatives, a rather garish-looking highbrow K-car dash, and a marshmallow ride with handling to match. However, much of that can be cured in the Dodge Boys version of the same car, the 600 convertible. That is, if instead of buying the price-leading ragtop for $11,052, you can afford the $14,195 600ES turbo model. Besides the 2.2 turbo motor, it includes a sports handling suspension with larger front and rear anti-sway bars, beefy tires on 15-inch cast rims, and firmer steering along with electronic instruments and leather upholstery. But a year after Chrysler, a horse of a different color debuted over at Ford, the Mustang Convertible. Now with a base price of $12,237, the Mustang Convertible standard powertrain is Ford's 3.8 liter fuel injected V6. With this throttle body injected 4.9 liter V8, an option. All of the Mustang GTs might, including four barrel high output V8, five speed manual and handling hardware can also be had in an open topped version for $13,930. We love the Mustang's looks and the performance of the GT is smashing. The top is electric with roll down rear quarter windows and the rear window is also glass. Backseat room is good for a convertible even if the trunk is shallow. When General Motors finally gave in to the convertible craze, its first response was bold, with two models that are definitely on the high road, the Cadillac Eldorado and Buick Riviera. The Riviera convertible at $27,335 comes with a 5-liter V8 and the slab sides and luxury appointments that Buick's top-of-the-line model is famous for. Being both big and front-wheel drive, the interior of the Riviera soft top is very generous, even in the rear, with top-grade leather everywhere. And while the Riviera convertible is one top-notch way to get fresh air, it will take a minimum of $32,105 for America's costliest semi-mass-produced convertible, the Cadillac Eldorado Biarritz. Although similar in most ways to the Riviera, power is from Caddy's own 4.1-liter all-aluminum V8. 
We're told that the Eldo soft top is one of the favorite current diversions in Palm Beach. No wonder, since price alone will definitely keep it from becoming commonplace. But the El Dorado and Riviera were only tests of the ragtop waters. Two mainstream GM J-Car models are their most serious efforts. The Pontiac Sunbird and Chevrolet Cavalier, despite many similarities, have very different personalities. The Cavalier is more traditional and perhaps more friendly. Styling is very Chevy, with a broad grille, quad headlights, and lots of sharp angles. Prices start at a modest $11,927, with power from a two-liter pushrod four-cylinder. But the real spark for this front-wheel drive top breather comes from the now-optional 2.8-liter multi-port fuel-injected V6. On the other hand, the Pontiac Sunbird convertible looks sleek and without its top, every bit like the traditional version of a modern roadster, only it still has a usable back seat. Power again starts modestly, but this time with an overhead cam, high revving 84 horsepower, four cylinder, displacing 1.8 liters. But tack on a turbo to the same motor and the Sunbird becomes a 150 horsepower sunshine street beast. The top for both J cars is electric. The bodies flex far less than most competitors and seem well made. The only significant drawback to everyday use is a plastic rear window that should be unzipped before the top is lowered. Now the last major U.S. car maker to enter the increasingly crowded family convertible market was American Motors, but they quickly made a splash with the Alliance Convertible, since it's the least expensive conventional soft top available here, with a base price of $10,295. The top is also fully electric and is tightly constructed. The only exterior feature that we don't like is the black side panel that's supposed to reduce the top's bulkish looks. Since it's front drive, there's still plenty of interior room with a quite usable back seat. We do think the windshield frame looks too horsey, but in general, AMC has done a great job on the Alliance convertible. And it's without a doubt the cutest of the domestic bunch. But if you caught the term conventional when we referred to the Alliance, then you might have guessed that we have one much more unusual model left. If you really want a bargain open-topped car, you can't get much more open than the CJ7 from AMC's Jeep division. At $7,282 to start, the base CJ7 actually has no top. Both a soft top and a removable hard top are options. Standard power comes from a 2.5 liter 4 with a 4.2 liter inline 6 available. Naturally, the $367 soft top is totally manual and hardly a snap to secure. Both open, hard, and soft top versions of the half-truck Scrambler are also offered. And with four-wheel drive standard, these Jeeps can go where no other convertibles have gone before. And in general, point out the versatility and, except for the Riviera and El Dorado, the affordability of U.S.-made convertibles. All these products are buying for relatively small markets, but they do so with a broad range of approaches and choices for the buyers, and to a top appear well thought out and executed.